Hello, my name is Bradley from Analysis Pro, and today I'm going to talk to you about a really simple and effective workflow you can do when using an export where you've coded the game and you're using the presentation tool to filter out those key moments that you want to discuss with your players or review yourself. So here we are, this game's just about to come to an end. Ref blows the whistle, and you can see I was coding here with this template where you've got categories and descriptors. I've got my play-by-play -play window open here where I can actually see what I was coding. And I've also got a dashboard open as well where you can see some of the statistics that are coming in from the game. So I'm happy with all my coding. Now I've changed to the timeline environment where I will see all the entries of what I did code. So you can see those there. But we're short of time today, so we want to make a presentation and filter all those key moments up. So we open a new presentation. And we can make lists. So we make today we want three lists. We want one for my notes. We want one for corners. One for the goals, the goals make games. Okay, now we need to fill these lists up with the video clips, simple as you like, press in my notes and then three, we'll put all of my notes from that game up into that list. We then find my corners from that game, press three, and all the corners will go up, and then the goals four as well, press three, and the goal will go up there. So you've already got something to present back, you can see all of those um, all of those clips just by pressing play you'll see a presentation there and it will play them back to back but you might want to further enhance the uh, the point that you're trying to make so this is one of my notes that I made so you watch it there on the big screen to remind yourself and you see oh why was I clipped this one right I remember now so you have the clip draw tool so what's happening here we wanted to highlight that this player here is on his own. We perhaps wanted him to take um, the, this player to take this route through. So let's um, make these arrows yellow so it's clearer. Um, because then he will have quite a lot of space there to run into. It looks like uh, that when we, what we remember from the game that he's going to go over here which is fine because that's the decision he was making but with, this was one of our key clips that we wanted to make to say uh, perhaps you could have considered going uh, this way round and, and playing the ball um, over to the right wing instead so we can see what he's going to do he's going to go for one of these players up here um, you could actually even use the, the player moving tool if you like um, as well where you can click on there and the, the player will, will physically move if you look at that, that's really cool um, and then you press play and all of these different arrows and things will come in and you can set exactly when you want them that will layer itself onto your presentation you press play and you're ready then to review it with your players or review it yourself 